Hello everybody, this is the Goofs and Fox coming at you with two matches here. And these are both going to be rated matches in the new Despota. And yeah, this is our most recent banner suit here. And yeah, it's been a pretty decent suit, but I've kind of been having mixed feelings about it. So I'm going to go into that for this video, which is part of why I have two matches here, because the first part of this is probably going to be my thoughts about this suit, but... Um, yeah, we'll jump right into it here. So, um, Despada. It's another G Generation SD suit. Um, following the Sisquidi. I'm just gonna call that the... They're both mono eye Gundam, so I'll just refer to this one also as a mono eye Gundam. And, yeah, it's a 550 cost general. And, um, yeah, it's... As you can see, yeah, you got very big arms. <laughs> Oh, uh, very well, more like arm attachments, and yeah, I will say those arm attachments are kind of one of the first big flaws about the suit, because it does make you a very big target. And the suit itself, it's kind of big, but not as big as the Sisquidi is. Um, this one, it's a bit skinnier, kind of like the build almost kind of reminds me of the Escalus. But then you got them arms, and yeah, they are just very very they just give you a very big hitbox a very big piece of just <laughs> kibble for people to hit you by so yeah that's um, been one thing I found with the suit that's been a bit of an issue you do have skills to help with that like you have a um, skill that reduces the damage you take from those and you also have maneuver armor so when you are boosting and you get hit there you won't get stunned as easily but um, still can be quite a problem, honestly. Um, you have a whole plethora of weapons here as well, though. So, yeah, starting off with your primary here, yeah, you got the Despada, um, WB Beam Cannon, and yeah, that's a pretty basic instant stun weapon. Um, kind of like, yeah, just like the, <laughs> like the gym, um, 2 or gym 3 rifle, you fire it, you get your stun, and you wait for it to ready up again. And yeah, that just gets you a stun that can let you go in with your Beam Saber. And Beam Saber has a nice poking downswing going for it. So it does give you a bit of a range. Um, also does some decent damage as well. That's another like, thing about this suit is that it has pretty balanced stats. So um, whether you're going for melee or range, you do have some options there. And uh, yeah, I thought I could boost past that um, Zetazaku here, but nope, one fast enough. But, um, the next thing you have is some Head Vulcans, and, um, yeah, those are pretty, your standard Head Vulcans. Um, you have 30 rounds with these ones, but they do stun fairly well, so I will say there's a pretty good pro with them. Um, you can get a stun with them by themselves if you can land most of your shots, but like I said, it does require a majority of your ammo, so. Um, maybe if you combine it with some of your other weapons, you probably can get a stun a lot easier with them. Aside from that, they're just there to do a little extra damage. Um, next you have your double beam sabers, and unlike your single beam saber, you can only swing this one once, so you do have melee combat controller level 1 for this suit, but um, your single beam saber you can swing twice, this one can only be swung once, and this one does do some decent damage, especially on the downswing, so it does have its uses, and it is pretty easy to combo into it with them. The thing you do need to watch out for though is that your double beam sabers have a cooldown of 3.5 seconds instead of the usual um, 2.5 that beam sabers typically have, so if you do use that weapon it will take longer to ready up again, so usually I find the best strategy is to go in with your single beam saber first, then go for the double, then go back to the single, and you can get a full melee combo off there, and again, does do some pretty decent damage with this suit, so... Um, it is worth using melee here. Um, next here you have the Despada WB Missile Launcher, and I'm going to call these your mini missiles because you do have two types of missiles on this suit here. And those are, like, they fire when they provide, it's interesting because they say they have 12 ammo, but the way it kind of fires is like it fires three rockets at a time. But, so you basically, you really only have four shots with this, but the good thing is is that they get a stun really quickly like if you land I think technically three of your shots so if you land nine of your ammo which is three of your shots technically yeah I think it will actually get you a stun so yeah it is definitely good if you need like if someone's boosting at you like a something with maneuver armor um 
them? Yeah. It's actually really good for getting that stun off. Uh, just things boosting at you in general. Really just good. Also a really good extra damage dealer. Uh, next tier you have the, make sure I get on the right weapon here, you have the Despota WB Beam Cannons times 2 and that's the weapon I just used there. You have to stand still to use this one, but it kind of fires like a rapid beam. Um, it, it can stun accumulation wise as well. I found I think you have to use, unless you use your other weapons, you do have to use the full, um, like you have to overheat it to actually get a stun with it, but um, it is good for damage if you can land your shots, and that's like how most of these weapons I feel like really work. If your ranged weapons, if you can land your shots, you can get some pretty decent damage in. So there's definitely pros to playing the suit a bit more like a ranged suit, which I think is kind of the intention they wanted to go with it when I looked at the enhancements, because most of your damage increase enhancements, they are to your ranged weapons, so... Um, that might be the intention, but again, you do have some pretty decent melee, so the suit is quite modular, almost. It's pretty, like I said, it's pretty balanced. Pretty balanced suit here. Um, next you have your big missiles, and these are like the... The best way I can describe these is that they are like the Gym 3's hit missiles, but they fire in a straight line. At least I think they do, because I've had interesting experiences where the rockets will fire to the side. I don't know if they're supposed to lock on the targets or not, but it is something weird I've noticed. I am not entirely sure what that was all about, but... Um, yeah, they kind of start out slow, and then they speed up, so... Um, if you can land them, they do get you a stun, and they can also do some really nice damage. As you can see there, 1,300 to another um, Despada. And your final weapon here is going to be the Cyrod. And when I saw the Cyrod at first, I thought it was going to be like a Heat Rod weapon. Until I realized they are on the back of your big um, weapon like things here. So, um, how these work, they actually are a Saikuma weapon and they lock on to a target and these are actually some really nice weapons because uh, one they do some pretty decent damage two they lock on so they have a much better chance of hitting their targets and three well, actually there's actually four things here three they are an instant stun if they act of just one hit it's an instant stun and the final fourth thing here is that you can boost while using them so if you're trying to boost up to somebody you can boost and lock on to somebody, and then you can actually, you know, get them on somebody. And yeah, those are very helpful weapons there. Um, before I continue on to the next few things here, timeout mission over for this first match. Let's see what we got here. Uh, mission completed, good work, and did get top damage this match. And we'll see how we did overall after I do my praises. I think I end up praising it. The, nope, not gonna praise it. Gonna praise Zerizaku. And. First place overall with 5 kills and 1 loss. Not too shabby here. I think this may have been my 4th match with this suit. Um, yeah, that was a pretty good one there. And now we're gonna jump to this Arctic base match here. Um, yeah, this is another one. Uh, yeah, pretty good match. I think it's also gonna be a basic match here. And yeah, real quick, we're just gonna jump back into it here. Gonna do just the finishing off some of the skills here, cause the suit doesn't really have any interesting skills, I'd say. It just kinda has your basic skill set, kind of, apart from a few things I mentioned. Again, you do have some added buffers to your big weapon, um, weapon things here. <laughs> call them weapon pods. I know they're not weapon pods, but I'm just gonna call them weapon pods. You do have some resistances there. You also have a dodge roll, and yep, dodge roll, a uh, melee combat controller, and you have maneuver armor, so you do have a lot of good stuff there. Aside from that, a lot of this is just your basic, um, kind of like skill setup for your general, you know? So, yeah, um, Despota here. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm kind of having some mixed feelings playing this suit, and it's mainly because I've had some really good matches, but then I've also had some, like, really bad matches, um, using it. 
Now it could be because it's rated, and you know, people do play rated way more seriously than quick matches. Um, I haven't gotten quick matches with this yet because there have been none for 550, so I don't know how this suit fares in a more um, casual setting, I'd say, but um, for rated, it can do good. But like I said, for, for, with the cons with this suit, first of all, um, yeah, those weapon backs are just huge. So it just makes you a pretty big target. So you do want to watch out for that. Um, also, you don't have a lot of HP, like 17,000 going for this suit. So you don't have a whole lot of HP going on here. So that's something you remember. Um, resistances as well are also low. Not your beam resistance, because your beam resistance is like 30. Um, melee resistance is 20, and I think the ranged resistance may have been around 15. Your ballistic is pretty low, but I don't think that's something you'd have to really worry about too, too much with this suit. Because, you know, when you get to the higher cost, um, you see way more beam weapons, so it might not be the end of the world for that one, but I did put some buffers for my, um, melee and beam defense, just so I have a bit more to protect myself. I think I also did put a bit of HP on this build as well. Again, just that extra defense, trying to make sure this suit is a bit beefier than what it is. Um, aside from that, for the pros, again, you have a lot of weapons. A lot of good weapons. You actually have a lot of weapons that are just capable of stunning people, so... You can bully people with stuns if you really want to. If you feel like you know how to combo your weapons and whatnot. And then you also have a lot of good accumulation stun weapons, which is good for suits that have maneuver armor, or for anything that's just kind of boosting at you, and also kind of gives you just some other weapons to use in between your stuns, so you can kind of keep a consistent fire going. Um, if I had to pick some of the highlight weapons, I'd say the Cyrod is definitely the first one. Cyrod is a really good and fun weapon to use, and I really like using it. It can miss... But when it actually does hit, it can do pretty well, so... Um, it's really about knowing, just making sure it can actually hit your target, make sure if you, the enemy you're aiming at is not moving too much. Because that's usually what I miss. It's like, if the enemy is moving too much, or they're moving back, it will miss. I should also mention, the Cyrods do actually jam radar as well when they hit somebody, so... Yeah, there's another pro to them that they have. Um, aside from that, um, the big missiles are pretty good because they do some decent damage. They're slow, but they can do some decent damage. Um, both beam sabers are really nice because of their attack patterns. Again, you have a lot of pokes and like you can just cover a lot of distance with both of them. So if you're a bit further from a target and you're trying to downswing them, um, it does let you get a bit closer. So um, yeah, aside from that, you got your basic dodge roll maneuver on the skills. Those are pretty good pluses there. And uh, yeah, that's kind of my overall thoughts about this suit. Again, pretty it's pretty mixed, but the times that I have done well with it, I have been really enjoying this suit. So I would say overall it's pretty decent of a general. I think it's something I do need to play a bit more though. Um, try to get some more map variety because I've only played this on a couple maps so far, so maybe trying it on a few different maps would kind of change uh, my overall views on it, like find a map that maybe it works really well on. Um, aside from that, from what I've played of it, it seems decent. And that's again, that's kind of the most I want to say about it at the moment. It's decent. It can do what it needs to do, but you gotta be careful while doing it, because yeah, I'm gonna emphasize again, those arms, you're a pretty big target, so. Yeah, you might you want to be careful about what you're actually fighting, and again, the resistances can be kind of low on this suit, so you do need to be careful of just kind of how you do. Um, kind of like my recommendation, kind of the play style I've been going with is I try to stay in the back a bit more when I can, and just kind of poke with my range weapons. And if I can go in for melee again, I'll try to get a full combo off with the single beam, double beam, and single beam again. Um, get some decent damage off, especially the raids, which, you know, just being a general, um, you do do more damage to raids, but yeah, raids is definitely where this thing is a bit more effective against. And yeah, I think that's all I kind of have here, so 
um, this last um, few two minutes here of this match and anything I take after the fact. Um, yeah, going to be dedicated just to kind of looking at this match here, seeing how we do on Arctic base here. Um, they get a bomb in the enemy base, so but the enemy team has a bomb in our base. I think they get it off, but I think we uh, do make up the score in time by the end of this. So I think we are able to pull this match in the end. Um, that's a GPO2, and you'll see what I mean when I say, yeah, you can do a lot of damage with the melee. 3,000. You can kind of assist on them there. Didn't see how much the big missiles did, but... Um, as you can see with that melee, you can do a pretty good damage. Um, that's an Ashimar over here. And I'm gonna think I'm gonna be able to finish him off. Yep, finish him off with the beam. Um, just call it the basic beam rifle, because... Uh, I don't really know how else to really call it. It's, I'm just gonna call it, say that that weapon's a beam rifle. Your instant sun beam, basically. I'm accidentally gonna get down swung by the Zeta Zaku teammates, but hey, someone got the GPO one, so they ain't gonna be a problem anymore. And yeah, let's see how much I can do here. Um, 980 with the rapid beams. And yeah, as you can see, you can only single swing with the, um, doubles, so. Um, yeah, like I said, you gotta be careful with your melee with this suit, but. Gonna be hitting the last few seconds here. Um, try to get some Cyvods out if I can lock on. I think I accidentally locked onto the tank, but I think luckily my beams still hit somebody. And gonna try to finish off that um, GPO2, my down, not my down 2, my neutral miss, but someone else was able to finish him off. And a uh, timeout mission over for this Arctic base match. Almost died there, but luckily was able to pull through with enough HP. So let's see how we did for this match. And. Did get top individual, top assist, and top in damage. We also have a lot of suits that got buffed on our team with both GPO2s and the Zeta Zaku. Um, first place overall with three kills and two loss. Um, yeah, both some pretty good matches that I've had here. Um, again, have some had these good matches, and then I've had some really bad matches. So the suit has been kind of in the middle, which is why I'm so mixed about it. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this double feature here of these two matches with the Despada. Um, would I say it's worth pulling for? I mean, I, could, I, mean I, can say it's, I can say it would be worth pulling for because, again, it does have some pretty nice pros going for it. That, again, being that it can just bully things with stuns and do some pretty decent damage, but... At the same time, it's like, it could be the case that it might just not be my type of suit in particular. It might just not be my type of suit, but again, that's what I'm going to try to practice with it a bit more and see what I can do here, see if I can get some more matches, kind of improve with it. And maybe I'll find a strategy or maybe just make a whole new build entirely that kind of better suits my playstyle. But, um, yeah, I think if, with my closing thoughts here... Mixed thoughts on this suit, but overall I do find it fun and enjoyable. So if you do want to pull for it, and you think you can do really good with it, or you'll just have fun using it, then I'll say go ahead and pull for it, but if it's something that you don't think you'd like, might be safer to skip on it. Just as a just in case, you know, if you, if you don't feel like you might not be able to play too well in this suit, might recommend skipping on it, but if you think you can do well, I say go for it. But that's gonna do it for this match or these matches here with the Despada. Um, comment down below what you think about this suit here. Um, I'm very interested to hear what people's thoughts on this are going to be, because again, I think it's a very interesting suit. So, um, hearing what people may have came up with or just the overall opinions, gonna be pretty fun to see. Um, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later.